Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we're going to be going over some of the potential PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X restacks we're still on the lookout for. We've had a pretty quiet past few days, although we keep on having a lot of these new, like, big retailers and other things kind of popping on up that are just not necessarily the biggest, or not necessarily the most, like, going to happen 100% today, but we did actually see even more influxes of, like, some walk-ins, we had some more locations, we had more people confirming some stuff, and I do think a lot of this will probably go and continue on into the weekend, too, as well. And on top of that, too, we just have a lot of, like, potentials. We have a lot of, like, middle ground stuff. And I'm definitely in the lookout for a lot of different stuff for you guys. I think it's all probably going to agree, though, this past week has been very, very barren. Very lame, and just not necessarily too much of a good week. So hopefully we can kind of switch on up. And if it doesn't actually go and have a good week this week, well, then next week we'll hopefully have a lot more better stuff. So hope you guys are going to enjoy your Fridays, have a good start of your weekends, and hopefully today will be a nice start of the day in general. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc digital console controller. Twitter and Twitch room as well, link down below. Sign up for that Weeble, sign up for that Coinbase, and as well, we have the nice little giveaway links down below. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Let's Let's go dive on in. So a little bit more of the slightly newer stuff. We guys had a chance to go and see some videos as of yesterday. We did actually go and see a little bit more of a bigger influx, both from social media, from Reddit, from like other various places, that Kroger's, Fred Myers, and all the other various like uh, like subsidiaries, whatever word you want to call of it, different area, regional, SOTS locations, actually have been having more stock up in stores. We have been seeing a nicer big influx of both Xbox Series X's, which are somewhat expected, mainly because we've been seeing such a nice bump up from, you know, even saw some stuff at Walmart. We saw some more at Target. We keep on seeing Best Buy in stores. We always have it linked down below. And, well, just everything else tied on in. So, when it comes to that type of stuff, if you guys want to go casually check your stores, feel free to. Apparently, some folks are actually having some better luck on calling their local stores and seeing. And apparently, some people are saying that there was some stock up on, like, Tuesday. Some actually had a chance to get that stock as of the day. And it kind of just depends on your area. I always do keep on mentioning this. I kind of hate that it is kind of somewhat area-dependent. And also, like, you had to, like, put on your own effort itself. But as I mentioned, we have had been seeing a lot more of the internal stuff for Kroger's and as well for Fred Myers. So, cool to go and see. So, if you guys want to check the electronic section, I like I said, I do think they've been somewhat receptive when it comes to calls and we also have just been slowly seeing them trickling on in so i do think that throughout the next probably like two to three weeks we'll probably be seeing a little bit more when it comes to stock and stock movements and everything else floating on in so we can keep that in the loop for you guys the best you guys want so uh, i would say it's kind of probably worth it like for me when it comes to kroger's itself i do have a few in the midwest i think these are pretty much everywhere like i think like they're kind of sporadic spread on out but then there's like hundreds of stores literally everywhere like it's a pretty big chain so if you guys want to go casually check you guys want to go and see you want to check for the walk-ins i do want to say i think we've been leading somewhat more towards the xbox series x's i do think that's been a slightly bigger and slightly like higher i guess note when it comes to stock and stock movement well, just because we also have seen some PlayStation 5 showing up in the stores and also in the back. But I do think, that, you know, obviously people want to buy the PS5 just a little bit quicker and a little bit faster. So that's probably a big reason why it's even like that in the first place. So that's why number one. I do think the biggest one out there is probably that. So keep that in mind. Uh, as well, when it comes to PlayStations, apparently some folks have been confirming that employees have stock in the back. So at least we've kind of been seeing a lot more rumors. And usually when there's rumors, there's probably a reason why there's rumors in the first place. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in the lookout. You guys can kind of go from there. Check your stores. We'll try to get more details throughout the day or throughout the next few days or whatever. Uh, we can kind of go from there. So all around good stuff with that. And I also like the fact that people are getting consoles. If we see more confirmations, we see some tweets. Or if you guys want to send me pictures or anything you guys out there, if you guys check your stores. But if we keep me in the loop. Oh, as I mentioned, though, it is kind of on the sporadic side, kind of how we've been seeing for, like, say, Targets or Best Buys, where they do kind of seem somewhat on the regional side, but it would also make sense. We're seeing a lot more walk-ins, a lot more places getting stock, etc. So, like, at the end of the day, kind of makes sense to me. So, good stuff with that. Go check your stores, give them a call, and be on the lookout. Now, as well, once again, we're still on the Best Buy. Like, I, I always hate whenever, like, we're just patiently waiting for a drop and we're almost there. But basically, when it comes to Best Buy... Best Buy itself has been getting stock and has been receiving stock. We do know this. This has been confirmed. Stores are sitting on stock. Stores are holding on to stock. We're just kind of patiently waiting for it in general. So if you guys want to go and check your store stock and go from that, feel free to. I uh, keep on using the Best Buy app glitch if you guys would like to and go and see if there's any stock or stock movement and all that kind of floating around. Uh, so yeah, when it comes to in-stores, we've been seeing a few more once again walk-ins, although a lot of folks have been double confirming and basically saying that they have been on the drier side. But as well as we keep on mentioning for you guys, we have been seeing stock in stores. We've had confirmations for stock in stores. We've had employees confirm that there is 
stock in stores. So if you guys really want to go and be on the lookout, especially because we've seen so many Friday restocks for Best Buy, once again, not guaranteed. They could just be maybe bolstering up, uh, bolstering up stock, trying to get more, trying to set in more stock they can. Definitely be on the lookout for Best Buy today at like the 9 a.m. to around like the 3 p.m. range. Xbox is still having up in stock. We keep on mentioning that too as well. So keep on checking on the links down below and creeping on that in case you guys would like. When it comes to uh, Best Buy itself, though, like I said, we have something like a little baby bits of walk-ins, but like a total tech drop, very overdue, normal, just proper, normal open drop. is not the craziest overdue. Like We went like a nice eight weeks or so before the, like, the last one, so like, it definitely could go longer. But the fact we're seeing like warehouses and employees confirming stack, it does bump up the likelihood quite a decent bit. Now for Target. When it comes to Target and Target stock in general, too, we've still been seeing as well. Once again, employees confirming that there is stock on hand. So keep that in mind. If you just want to go check your local stores, try to get some stock, try to get some hookups, feel free to if you case you guys would like. When it comes to stock in general, uh, be on the lookout, I'd probably say, too. So we've been seeing some more, like, kind of sporadically mixed out in. Like, we've been having employees confirming stock, so it's kind of weird to see. Uh, cause mainly because it depends. Like, it really does does depend on your local area. Sometimes they're sitting on two weeks. Sometimes they're sitting on three weeks. It really depends. Now, once again, though, we do keep on seeing, like, that really small chance for a target event. I'm still kind of leaning towards probably not going to happen. Once we kind of keep on seeing like these big retailers kind of make that next official change, it does make it a little harder to go and, you know, do that. It does make it a little harder to see. So uh, keep that in mind if you just want to keep checking your local Target stores and going from there. So at least like the big focus still on Best Buy. And as well, we also did mention too that Best Buy does have the online API already updated. So they have had some employees mess around with it. We've had some employees like, you know, just do stuff with it. So keep that in mind. Now as well, when it comes to other various stuff too, when it comes to like stock in general, we still are waiting for both a Walmart and GameStop drop. Now we usually don't see too much stuff on that unless it's like preemptively like noted and preemptively made. So when it comes to stock and everything for it, uh, yeah, well, we're just waiting to go and see. I do think Walmart's going to have a really huge chance because we do keep on seeing people getting their consoles and receiving their consoles for their drops. So at the end of the day, I'm looking and feeling pretty good with it. So in case you guys do want to be on the lookout, we'll kind of see if we have any website updates or stuff. Although I'm probably assuming more on the weekend. There's always that small chance too. some of these walk-ins might do some like Mother's Day deals or like, you know, for the weekend because people are going to be in stores. You know, either way, just to get people up in stores, buying groceries and all that type of stuff. But yeah, when it comes to uh, that stuff, we're still on the lookout for them. Amazon, not so much overdue. We always have the Amazon links down below in case you guys want to check and see. Nothing super crazy. But I do think Target, Best Buy as well. Also, guys, don't forget, too, we did also kind of the same thing we saw with Best Buy. Have the PlayStation Drex also update their API. Stock is technically locked and loaded for it, so we just have to wait for the next upcoming drop whenever it does go and happen. Although it does kind of stink because, well... We just don't know when it's going to happen. <laughs> and that's, I think that's one of the biggest struggles, I think, for all of us. So if we can see some stock, we'll be on the lookout. If we can't see some stock, we'll be on the lookout. But if you guys want to follow the Twitter and subscribe here, I'll make sure to put out a tweet and also put out a community post if we do see some stuff on either side. So at least we have some pretty good thumbs up for that. Uh, so at least we have potentials. Like, there's a lot of potential throughout the day. It's not, like, fully, fully convinced for me, in all honesty, but at least we have been seeing potential. Now, for the other walk-ins, too, such as the BJ's, Wholesalers, and Myers, we still have been seeing, like, sporadic updates. We still have been seeing kind of on the middle. It hasn't been major good. It hasn't been major bad. So it kind of stinks because I want to see, like, every store, like, all at the same store, all at the same exact time, the 7 a.m., all, like, the second the stores are open, and then a lot of people get in their consoles. Like, right now, it's kind of just been a little bit of a small trickle where we keep on seeing stock and seeing stock moving around but at the end of the day it's not that cool like it's kind of we're just waiting for more stuff to pop on in so if you guys want to keep on checking your local Meyer stores as I mentioned my own Illinois area hasn't really had too much stock which kind of makes me sad for the PS5 and everything else the uh, Xbox 2 as well not seen too much BJ's we've still been seeing them sporadically throughout different states and countries although nothing super crazy once again kind of just depends on your local area as well, as I mentioned to the Fred Myers Krogers and all those stuff, be on the lookout, especially for today. All the other mid-tier places, such as like, you know, the new eggs and all that stuff, keep on being on the lookout for the day-to-day -day shuffle. We did go and see Costco do a PlayStation 5 restack yesterday. Although it was a pretty big, like $850 bundle. It really wasn't that that good. So some of you guys all know, kind of mediocre, not the best. Eh. We're still waiting to maybe see if Anton Line does more. They did do stuff at the start of the week. Gamefly still has not done anything to as well throughout this week, so keep that in mind as we're waiting for other drops. We're also still on the lookout for like the Dells and Dormas, Staples, and everything else. Although, if we don't see any major big stuff throughout the day, I still think Best Buy Target and PS Rex are a big focus. And if nothing else, the walk ins too, if you guys have one near and available. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really seem too, too much difference or too, too much strange, I guess. So keep that in mind at the end of the day. Uh, it might be a little bit more of a 
chiller day as we go into Mother's Day weekend. So also don't forget about Mother's Day weekend. Uh, but thank you guys all so much for watching. I know it's going to kind of a little bit of a drive that past few days. So hope you guys don't mind. As well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 Disc Digital Console Controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well down below. Weeble and Coinbase down below. And all the other various things too as well down below. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place. Y'all are beautiful. And I'll see you guys all throughout today for more videos.